Whoa! Samantha R. Olmstead, the former... Well, actually, she, I keep saying that. She's still a flight attendant. She's just on hiatus for the moment. She's going back to her flight attendant job pretty soon, but she's out camping. What? 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 Apparently, this is normal for people to hunt and shoot in a national forest. Still, still feel, feels weird. She's out in a national forest, and she hears, you know, shots off in the distance over on the mountainside, and it turns out to be hunters. Yes, that's a little uh, unnerving, I would think. Uh, at least she's wearing uh, bright pink, so she'll stand out, and hopefully they won't shoot in her direction. But, whoa, man. You know, I've, I've had, you know, people that, I know folks that like to, uh, they have a house in Luray, Virginia, which is in between two big mountains there, kind of about uh, southwest of uh, Washington, D.C., about 100 miles. And, yeah, they, you know, there's there's state and federal lands in there where there's hunting. And they don't have, you know, you're not allowed to come right up on their property and hunt, but people off in the distance, you hear quite a lot of, especially on certain weekends at certain times of the year, lots of hunters going on up there. Yeah, I don't know. That would be a bit unnerving. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. You know, I wouldn't want to be, what if that hunter gets in the wrong area or, you know, thinks you're a bear or something or a deer, probably deer. You know, I don't know, man. I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I got to stop picking on Ray Van Life Rocks. He does have some nice live chats, but I said he needs to do more videos of just going out and exploring cool things. And this is a very cool video. It's Joshua Tree National Park, which is uh, very cool. Very cool place. But he plays some beautiful music and there is some beautiful photography in this, but I kind of like his views of what he thinks everything is. And, you know, do hiking and talking, you know? Oh, Oh, I kind of like that. It's kind of pretty, and I like that. And that looks so. Who's that? Does that look like you know? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I, you know, hey, <laughs> it's a good channel, Van Life Rocks. But uh, you know, make Dave happy and do an exploring video, and also talk a little bit during, and tell us what you think. You know, make personalize the experience. The, the photography, yes, a plus. Really nice video here from uh, RV Rebel Girl Carolyn there. She travels from, she's been in Florida now the last couple weeks. Florida, up into Georgia, the Carolinas in Tennessee. And she came probably uh, near Asheville. She was near Asheville, as you can see by the road signs and some of her filming there. And uh, Asheville's only about 45 minutes away from here, where I am in Western North Carolina. And she could have stopped by and gotten a free Whopper meal for both her and the dog. She, they could share it. No, no. I would buy Sep. No, you know. I'd maybe even splurge on something better than a Whopper. But uh, you know, one of the many fancy, beautiful restaurants here in Morganton. Uh, a nice, you know, a nice burrito or something. I don't know, man. Anyway, but no. Just passed on through. Hurry to get. Hurry, hurry up. You got to get to Tennessee fast, huh? We got new ones here from Destination Open Road. Nice to see them posting again. Uh, and also uh, Van City Van Life. Uh, Back roads, life off grid. I got to talk about that one day. He keeps using the term off grid. I, I don't know. There's some people I consider to be off the grid now. You know, yes, driving through an area with no cell reception is temporarily off the grid, but he doesn't seem like one of the people that uh, seems to be off grid that often, right? I don't know. So should he call himself off grid? I'll discuss that one of these days in a rant. Remember that. Rant on that. Letters, letters, letters. <clears throat> you know, audience engagement is important. That's why I do letters. I've been doing them for a long time, too, for many, many years, because I believe in audience engagement. Uh, that Canadian chick says, can we imagine cheap RV living Bob Wells in a tuxedo? Shark-dressed man. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping that uh, we, they do have some sort of Oscar ceremonies this year and, and we get to see the cast of Nomadland and I would love to see Bob in a tuxedo. That would be definitely worth staying up late and watching that boring award show for. Oh yeah, Henry Hobson, I always love his comments. So such a thoughtful man. I thought you claimed to be non-political and not religious channel. And, uh, yeah. you know, uh, I try not to take any sides in politics or religion. That doesn't mean we don't talk about them occasionally here on the Camo Dave channel because they're part of our lives. You know, how do you cover nomad life without talking about substantial parts of nomad life? <clears throat> if we have nomads that are talking politics or putting political signs behind them for us all to see and, and talking about various 
aspects of the pandemic and wearing masks. And these are political issues. We have to talk about that. You can't just not talk about it. Now, I'm not going to take a stand and say he's right, she's wrong, whatever. But, you know, and the same thing with, uh, you know, I did a touch on a touch of spirituality this morning because the, the Nomad movie, the Nomadland movie is just full of it. It's full of dealing with spirituality and nomads and what, what they're going toward and going away from in their journey. You know, and, and, you know, I'm not saying this is right and this is wrong. I'm simply saying, it's, you know, politics and religion are part of our lives. We can't get away from that. And, you know, it's. I think it's worth talking about occasionally, but I'm not going to take any positions and say this is right or this is wrong. You get it, Henry? Uh, Cactus Nomadic says religion is like a pair of shoes. Great analogy. I said that. Try, you know, if, you know, there's lots of churches out there. If you want to go to church and you got to find, you got to do a little research and find a good one, the one that you will like, you know. And it's like it's like trying on shoes, <laughs> man made so humans can be more comfortable as they walk through this amazing journey called life. Cactus nomadic, yeah, very true. Uh, grumpy old lady said, uh, "Nomad Land has already won about a hundred awards at various film festivals. I bet you twenty dollars that Bob won't attend the Oscars." Well, I'm not going to bet you, grumpy old lady, but I, I would be. I, I, how could he pass that up? That's got to be a life highlight. To be in a movie that is selected as the best picture of the year, which, you know, it may very well be that, uh, you know, and then not to go? Uh, no, I, I'll, okay, grumpy old lady, I'll bet you $20. Grumpy old lady, okay, if we have the Oscars and we don't, Bob shows up there, he doesn't have to be wearing a tuxedo, but you know, be, wear something better than a dirty old t-shirt, you know, and a trimmed beard and some makeup, yeah, you know. Rome Town Girl says, I definitely think that being a full-time RVer nomad is a spiritual path. Being out there, he, being out here is an absolute exercise in trust and faith and synchronicity. Wasn't that a police album? <clears throat> Which I think are all the core, core components of spirituality. Just like in life, things happen out there. Particular people cross your path to uplift or challenge you. Circumstances present themselves and yet... Uh, another hero, Shiro's quest begins. Yeah. And let's not forget the magic of being in the right place, or sometimes even the wrong place at the wrong time, both of which I think brings you closer to that which some people call God, the universe, etc. Very, very well said, Rome Town Girl. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'll continue. I know that well. I know that some people can say that simply being in nature that feels spiritual. But for me, it's the ongoing playing, ongoing playing with this, the universe. This content, this constant repartee back and forth, repartee back and forth, where this happens and I grow in this way, and then that happens and I evolve in that way. If you ask me, the best path to strengthen your connection to the Almighty Creator ever. You know, I, it's one reason too. I like to go out and hike. I, you know, and I, you know, part of my problem is I take the phone with me too much now. I'm always talking on the phone, but there's sometimes it's nice to just go out and just hike in total silence and go up like, you know, a dirt trail and go up a mountain and look at the sunset or the sunrise or just the clouds and listen to the wind. Sometimes that is called for and, it, you know, it can be quite spiritual. Betty Smith says she misses Marlo. Uh, Marlo, I miss Marlo. I bet Living Free Mike does too. I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I wouldn't be surprised if if maybe he and Marlo are at least talking again. I don't know. Maybe they can. Maybe they've always been talking. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. I'm interested to see when Mike starts posting again. If uh, you know that spiritual message he posted on his uh, YouTube comments back there, his YouTube community channel part segment, whatever, uh, if, if that resonates in his life now and he's going to be a different person, but we'll just see. I don't know. What do you, what, what, what do you go? Do you want to bet? You want to bet? RS says if uh, you know who is so religious, he might want to read the part in the Bible where it says it is better to give than to receive. Uh, you know, we could, you know, everybody could do a little more giving these days, don't you think? No fear to check Ray. No fear to trek Ray says decency and justice to all I come in contact with. That's my personal religion. Not bad. And finally, Kevin Cole says there is a ferry boat from Alaska 
that connects Alaska and Washington. So I was talking about if uh, Nora Lee Itchy Boots, who is now heading to South Africa from the Netherlands, and that's where she's going to be traveling for, I guess, the next few weeks or months, who knows how long. Uh, I said she should try to get in, she should try to come to America and then you, you pretty much can travel all over although yeah it is hard to get up to Alaska you have to you know get through Canada there but yes there is a ferry boat and she could put her cycle on the boat and go up to Alaska that way uh, or of course take an airplane and then you know um, rent a motorcycle up there and drive all around Alaska summer's coming I don't know um, you know, I don't know. It, you know, if if she wanted to get in this country, I, I would they let her in? You know, I don't know. That's if she flew in on an aerial plane, an area, a big bird, and then rent and then bought a motorcycle over here, which she certainly could do because her YouTube channel is doing very well, and then travel all around the United States and take the ferry over to Alaska. I don't know. I think that's probably doable. Things are going to get better this summer, I think, as more and more people get the vaccine and. Uh, uh, hopefully, we'll start to get back to some sense of normalcy one of these days. Uh, Sierra Blue says, are we not worried about Blue Van Dan no vlogging happening? Yeah, I don't know. What's up, Blue Van Dan? Why, why have you not vlogged anything for the last couple of weeks? I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching Letters and More right here on the 27th of February 2021. Thanks for watching. Vlog on... <laughs>